If you're anything like me, then you probably saw the title of this video and went, uh, yeah, right. Summer as a season of rest? I do not think so. Summer is admittedly a really busy time. There's the garden to tend to, parties to attend. I totally hear you. But there's also another side of summer, and that's the side I want to talk about today. I'm Asia Suler of One Will Apothecaries, and these are the three herbs that can help you to find and create a summer of rest. at some point that every season in the wheel of the year has some aspect of its being that is reflected in its opposite. So for example, both fall and spring are seasons of transitions that are really associated with liminal states of being. And even though one is about growth and one is about waning, there's still an essential quality that's very similar. So I started thinking about the ways in which winter and summer are similar as well. And what I found was that there is a central core to winter and summer that is actually about rest. If you live in a climate where you get legit summer with hot days, you're going to notice that a lot of the activity going on in the natural world actually takes place early in the day or later in the day. And that thick time in the middle when it's really hot or really humid, everything kind of quiets down. There is certainly something about the heat that demands a kind of siesta, much like the cold of wintertime demands that we rest. Oftentimes we kind of just power through this requirement of siesta and we pay for it. We end up at the end of the summer feeling pretty exhausted and drawn out. But if we can embrace summer as a season of rest, then we can really drink in the deliciousness of all these blooms and fruits and growth. The first plant that I find to be so helpful in embracing this season as a season of quietude and rest is passionflower. Passionflower is one of the most otherworldly beautiful flowers I have ever seen. And passionflower is actually native to the southeastern United States. There are many species of passionflower throughout the world, but our native species here that is used medicinally is Passiflora incarnata. Passionflower is one of my favorite herbal remedies for calming and quieting the mind, particularly when you find that you have sort of circular merry-go-round thoughts. It can be really helpful when you're trying to go to sleep for this very purpose. I know I have a very active mind and I tend to overthink things by many steps, future tripping, making to-do lists. Passionflower really helps me to step back into the moment. If we look at the way the flower appears on the passionflower vine, this is a really good indicator of its medicine. The flower itself looks like a mandala. It looks like this visual representation of a meditative state. You can actually try following this mandala with your eyes and seeing how it might relax you into a state of rest. I always love seeing my passionflower bloom in the summertime, not only because it's so gorgeous, but because I get to see the bumblebees visit and then fall into a kind of somnolence. It's so beautiful. These bumblebees that come to, to feast on the passionflower will get a bit sleepy and will end up resting there right in the flower. So it just goes to show you all of us have the time and space to take a little rest every now and again. One of my favorite ways to work with passionflower in the summertime is to just clip the blooms and put them in my water jar for the day. It's a really gentle way to be imbibing the medicine. You can also work with passionflower in a tincture, a tea, or as a flower essence. Passionflower is a really safe herb and one that is indicated for children as well as the elderly. If you want to learn more about passionflower, you can check out in the links below. I have a link to a blog piece that I wrote all about the medicine of passionflower and summertime. The second herb is lemon balm. The scientific name for lemon balm is Melissa officinalis, Melissa being the Greek word 
for B because honeybees are so attracted to this bright and zesty herb. Lemon balm is one of my favorite herbs not only to reduce anxiety, but also to lift depression. If you ever listen to any Lana Del Rey, then you might know that there is such a thing called summertime sadness. It can happen that in the heat of summer, in the midst of summer, in the midst of all this growth, we start to feel a little inward. We start to feel a little stuck, maybe even a little disappointed. And lemon balm is one of my favorite herbs for lifting us out of states of heaviness and depression. And it seems counterintuitive, but sometimes when we're experiencing slightly depressed states of being, we're actually having a hard time really enjoying our relaxation. We feel like we're kind of stuck or stagnated. You know, real good siestas are not a feeling of being weighted down. Good siestas are a feeling of really enjoying one's repose. So lemon balm can help lift and elevate our mood while at the same time helping us relax. It's a slight, slight sedative. It's an anti-anxiety herb. It can really just help us to relish that moment. I also find that it gives me a really good zip in the middle of the day when your brain starts to get a little foggy and you know you need some rest on those summer days. It can really clear and elevate the mind. Lemon balm is another one that's really safe for children and I really like to actually use it in some foods like pestos. It makes a really good yummy pesto when you mix it with basil. One contraindication for lemon balm is if you have any hypothyroidism, that's something you're going to want to look into. But overall, lemon balm is just one of the most delicious culinary and medicinal herbs to incorporate into your summertime repose. And my favorite way, absolute favorite way in summertime to work with lemon balm is in an iced tea. So you would just make your normal tea, chopping up lemon balm leaves, infusing them in hot water. And then once it's done, you're going to siphon off the tea from the leaves, add some ice cubes, sit on the back porch, and enjoy. The last plant is hibiscus. Now, in particular, I like working with hibiscus as a flower essence in the summertime. You might have heard of hibiscus as a tea, roselle hibiscus. This is one specific species of hibiscus. But as a flower essence, you can work with any species of hibiscus. And I absolutely love what this flower essence does. When I first connected into working with this essence, the image that I got was of a woman in a flowing dress somewhere in Spain dancing to flamingo on the street. And to me, this was this image of just letting go and lusciously enjoying life, being in the sensuality of your body and the moment, feeling comfortable claiming your desires and really putting it out there in the world. Hibiscus really hones our senses. It helps us to feel comfortable with our sensuality and at the same time to feel empowered to know that we deserve it. We deserve a glass of rosé in the middle of the day. We re- deserve to put our feet up before dinner. Hibiscus flower essence invokes this deep lust for life. And if I were to say one thing that I love the most about all the energy that summer brings, it's this, this lustful, sensual, truly wondrous time of enjoying being in one's body. If hearing about hibiscus flower essence is helping you to feel tingly inside, you can head over to my website and check out the flower essence there. I'll put the link below too. But now I'd really love to hear from you. What is your favorite way to relax during the summertime? You can leave a comment in the messages below and feel free to forward this on to a friend that you wanna hang out with and just spend some time chilling. Enjoy your summer of rest. 